How's it look, bro? Handsome? Louis, you all the time. So I play you. So I get called boring. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Small Talk, a series where we interview musicians and try and get an insight into the industry. Today we're interviewing Holly from Adwife and yeah, hey Holly, how Hello. are you? So here we are in Cardiff and Cardiff has actually been a focal point for the massive rise in prominence of Welsh music lately. What do you think has led to the rise of this? Well, I feel like the Welsh music scene's always been around, like, but more recently obviously with like online platforms and like it's just more accessible um, and more people are interested in it, which is really encouraging. So you're a Welsh-speaking band yourself. Um, if you were to pick, say, one or two Welsh-speaking artists that influenced you and inspired you, who would they be? Okay, so I feel like uh, Gwenna, uh, even though she sings in Welsh and Cornish, her latest album is fully in Cornish, I think she's just, like, breaking barriers for, like, minority language yeah. music um yeah like it's hardly any people speak cornish and for her to do the whole album and it gets so much recognition is amazing also i think other local bands in Carmarthen have inspired us as a band um like los blancos or algraf they just yeah we grew up going to their gigs so Sticking to the subject of Welsh, you celebrated St David's Day in London with a gig with a few other Welsh bands. How was that? Oh, that was great. Yeah, we were uh, in the Betty Trotwood pub in uh, London. Uh, we played with uh, Himalayas, Buzzard, Pitchforks. Yeah, it was great. It was a really intimate, sweaty one, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of gigs, you've just come off tour with Joy Formidable. How was that? Was that a new experience for you guys? Oh, it was yeah. crazy, to be fair. Um, all the venues we were at were mental and we had so much fun. Uh, they're really lovely guys. Uh, Ritzy's Lush as well. Uh, yeah. Are there any festivals coming up that you're looking forward to? Um, Green Man, of course. Uh, yeah, we lo love Green Man. My first year last year. Um, but, and we could not have faulted anyone. We saw like everyone was amazing in their own way. So I can't wait to see what new artists I find in Green Man. <laughs> Perfect. So back to your music. Um, you've obviously been influenced by The Who, you said, mm -hmm. when in another lecture. But is there any other like big mainstream acts that have influenced your music directly? As a band, our music uh, it's like doesn't get inspirations from a specific place. No, like, it's like a mixture. It's because we've all got so many different tastes. Um, putting them all together, I think that's what makes our music a bit different because it's... Yeah. A bit of everything but we also get inspired by things that like not even music like our uh, one of our um songs off the album Nerwid we wrote it because we were inspired by a piece of art called Beasts of the Western World uh it's about Donald Trump and uh, <laughs> Theresa May so yeah loads of different types of music I mean I love King Gizzard as well as uh The Who I love hip-hop reggae loads of, like literally anything but um, the girls would say the same about music that they like yeah it's nice to get that sort of mixture yeah but yeah cool so um with melon your debut album it's entirely in welsh mm -hmm. correct so um with the new material though there's a few english speaking songs um but yeah we've been um with with melon we wanted to make like a statement with the welsh language um almost like we didn't have to conform to any sort of like expectations of making music we wanted to be to do it in our mother tongue because i thought it'd be something cool to do but we have been experimenting with like writing in english and stuff as well so we've just finished recording an ep um uh it's two welsh songs two english songs but yeah so would you say there's a new focus or is it always going to be welsh is always going to be there well i mean we don't really think about it that much, if I'm honest with you. When it comes to like writing tunes, you can like get from the vibe of the music. You, we can say like, "Oh, this is gonna be a Welsh one," or "This is gonna be an English one." I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Set out, okay. yeah. yeah. we well. don't really plan like, "Oh, we need to write an English song," or "We need to write a Welsh song." It's just oh, whatever cool. comes when we put the pen to paper. So we're reading that you're signed to Libertino Records. Um, a record company that specialises in Welsh acts. Um, was this something that decided, like aided your decision to go with them, or? 
to be honest, um, we were quite lucky with this because we played, I think it was our second gig ever in the Parrot, um, and Griff, who runs Libertino Records, hadn't, had, like, didn't, hadn't started yet, so he saw, he came to one of these gigs and saw us and a few other ba- local bands and thought, oh, this is amazing, so like, and then he started it from there, so we've been growing with the label, yeah. so it's been an amazing journey, like, together but Griff the guy who runs it he's just lovely like he does everything out of the kindness of his heart like, he's just amazing <laughs> so you recently recorded at Rockfield Studios mm-hmm. near Mom Russia where some legendary arts have um, recorded yeah. like Oasis and Black Sabbath and Queen how did that feel? oh it was crazy like <laughs> when we walked in just walking around like imagine who's been here imagine who's stuck <laughs> right here yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah that was with the Horizons uh, they got us and other acts on Horizons to record sessions there. Um, yeah, we're really thankful for that experience because it was awesome. I've literally been listening to the Wine Time session <laughs> of it and I'm just like, hurry up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be a single <laughs> soon ish. Um, so, back to the album, there was obviously quite distinct and we thought it was really, really good artwork on it. Um, and then the same with like you had your photos on the boat. Mm-hmm. And like it's it's almost caused like a scene just from the artwork itself. Was who inspired it or where did you get the inspiration? From? So, Gwen actually, the bassist in our band, drew the front cover. Um, I think she was just doodling. Like she didn't <laughs> actually even. She was like, "Oh, that'd be cool." <laughs> she <laughs> took it to us like, "Oh, I think that." We were like, "Yeah." <laughs> but uh, the the picture inside was taken by a photography company called The Shoot, uh, who. Uh, we're like best friends with um, and you say the boat is so funny it's not actually a boat if you saw what we were like literally it was on San Stefan beach near Kamarland and um, it was a tiny like paddling pool like a yellow paddling pool and then we had these balloons and then I had them for like two seconds and I let them go in the wind (laughs) and then we only had one left and we were like so I'm to edit it, but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're so thankful to the shoot because they do um, all our videos and stuff as well. They're online, uh, so they're just a really talented, like awesome guys to work with. Um. So obviously, alongside the artwork, the album made a statement of tackling political and social issues as well. As a band in general, do you have like one collective message that you try and push, or? I don't think like. As a band, I think we only, we write music about things that are important to us. Yeah. And I think that's important for every artist to do. Um, so we weren't trying to be like, build this whole <laughs> yeah, thing up and be there. like, this is what we are. We, we were just writing about the things that, that pissed us off. Yeah, because I think the, <laughs> like these days especially, you get some of the bands, I'm not going to name bands, yeah. but some bands that try and go out there with the intent of we're going to say something that's going to piss people off yeah. or we're going to go and say something really outrageous. So, yeah, I think it's important to stick true to your mm. your roots. But So recently you've gained national attention um, on the John Robbins and Ellis James show on Radio X. They put you on their podcast and there's quite a cult following behind that, including myself. How did it feel to be mentioned as one of the bands on there, like his... Oh. Yeah, no, it was amazing. When we when I saw it on Twitter, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, Gwen's met Ellis. Um, he, he came, popped into the parrot where she used to work, the music venue, and he was lovely. And uh, yeah, it's just, it means the world to yeah. have the support. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 what has been your most memorable moment as a band to date? Am I allowed to name a few? You are. Yeah. yeah. You can add as many as you want. Okay, uh, so... Made a Veil was a big one for us, um, especially because that was like, what, 2017? So I was like, we look quite a little while ago now. And back then we were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so Made a Veil, Green Man, I know I spoke about it already, but we just loved it. Um, Rockfield was a big one as well. We also played in a festival in Italy in 2017, which is pretty nuts. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a minority language festival, so um, there was like people from all over the world. That, that was just definitely sick. yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it was uh, our highlights. I think. Get the green man plug in there. So yeah, do yeah, sign gosh. them up for this year, please. Please. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so in terms of music for you, what are you listening to at the moment? Like what album or artist? Fair. I'm 
Brinson at the minute, Anderson Pack. He's like the fuck. Um, I'm also rinsing Oriel's album. That's really yeah, nice. so good. It's like a mixture of Bell and Sebastian and Stone Roses, and I dig it so much. <laughs> like it's perfect. But yeah. Well, yeah. Um, and now we're just gonna give this last section for you to plug whatever you want. So uh, we've got an EP coming out soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Also, uh, we're playing in Focus Wales in Wrexham. So yeah, um, I just want to thank again. Holly for coming in and talking to us um, it was a great to get to know more about you guys and we're excited for Adwife and we hope you guys are too so keep an eye on their socials and keep an eye on ours to see the interview drop thanks so yeah. much for watching thank you <laughs>